Welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, now, talking today in history, we, of course, will be sharing with you something that happened today in 1996. It's called the blizzard of 96. These are some of the things that we're not very familiar with here in Africa because yes, we don't have... Uh, we don't have snow. Uh, we've even lost Hamatan. <laughs> Indeed. So, <laughs> so we don't have a couple of these... You know, extreme weather conditions that, you know, that these things talk about. Well, it's the blizzard of 96 <laughs> led to the death of about, about 154 people. Um, about $1 billion was also lost uh, um, to this blizzard. Um, it says that snow began falling in Washington, D.C. on this day. Uh, sometime around 9 p.m., about 12 inches of snow fell. Uh, but by the next 24 hours, a record 20 inches of snow fell. In 24 hours, uh, of course, a wind gusts were as high as 50 kilometers per hour. Newark, New Jersey received 28 inches. Rhode Island had up to 32 inches of snow. The whole city was filled with snow. And um, a lot of businesses and schools and public places had to close and people had to stay at home. Um, unfortunately, the deaths that occurred, 154 in total, um, were mostly from accidents, collapsed trees, and homeless people who died from hypothermia. People also uh, uh, suffered uh, carbon monoxide poisoning, you know, as they were stuck in their cars uh, throughout the period that the blizzard lasted. Um, Philadelphia alone lost about 80 people. Uh, to this blizzard. It started this day in 1996, and it's a, it's a pretty weird, you know, um, way, you know, to lose lives, 154 in total. Mm. Um, but I also got to, you know, read that the, the, the worst blizzard in history happened in 1972 in Iran, and it led to the loss of about 4 thousand lives yes about four thousand um it completely covered about 200 villages in iran back then wow that's terrible so sometimes when you're you know maybe looking for certain you know weather conditions here in nigeria <laughs> uh, you also need to remember that when it's extreme um it could lead to you know a lot of disaster and okay, loss of lives weather extremes are terrible i mean remember the heat waves in india killed hundreds of people the blizzard yeah. in the u.s killing hundreds of people and every almost every year we hear about the california and the australia fires you know, yes. that, that you know cause you know catastrophic damage across you know those areas so um it's it's nothing nothing that anyone is looking forward to at any time when it's that serious indeed i mean this, this blizzard was so terrible people couldn't go to work public transportation was shut down trade trains, train tracks or rail tracks were basically covered in snow. The roads were covered in snow. People don't go to work. And when I when I saw comments, you know, people talking about, you know, remembering this blizzard when they were kids, they said when the snow covered the streets and it froze, they were basically ice skating on the on the roads. So yeah. to let you know just how how bad that was. I mean a building <laughs> actually collapsed under the weight of the snow. I mean the snow was so much that the building basically caved in. It was it was um, some of, some of the you know after effects of that much snow, uh, collapsed buildings and infrastructure trees were falling, mm -hmm. and um, um, unfortunately, and I think the part that makes me sad in this whole story is the fact that you know a couple of the people that died were homeless people who had nowhere to go and nowhere to you know to you Your know shelter. seek shelter you know and so they died from hypothermia, um, and um, yeah that that really breaks my heart. It does mine too. Something else that breaks our hearts uh, this morning is the remembrance of the death of Uchenna Kizito Okafo. He was discovered dead uh, January 6, 2011. He was a Nigerian player, Nigerian football defender. He played in 34 international matches for Nigeria. His body was discovered by his wife in January 11th, shortly after he returned home dropping off his daughter in school in their house in Dallas. Now, the controversy around uh, Okafo's death is just weird because the Tarrant uh, County Medical Examiner's Office say he hanged himself upstairs. But being an Igbo man, you know, it's it's what? considered... A, no, indeed, he is an Igbo man from Igbo <laughs> states, right? Okay. He is considered a taboo in Igbo land for any man to take his own life. So when the, the reports came in that he had committed suicide, the family rejected to the claims and later on they saw reports by FBI that he was murdered and they said yes we have been vindicated our son did not kill himself it was so controversial you know the FBI stepping 
seen protests from family members. They alleged that he was murdered for alleged racism. You know, the story was really big at that time. And Okafo himself uh, distinguished himself as a, you know, exceptional player. He played in every yes. match, you know, when Nigeria won the 1994 African Cup of Nations. He was part of that squad. He, he was also head coach for the 1991 uh, Gold Central Boys team, uh, as well as the 93 HP Central Boys team who played in the Plano Premier Select Soccer League. Also had a very interesting international career. Played for the Kansas City Wizards uh, from 1996 to 2000. Um, had 109 games for them and uh, scored three goals. Um, so a phenomenal um, you know, soccer player, um, great international career also. Um, he played, of course, you, like you mentioned, the 1994 African Nations Cup. He played every game uh, for Nigeria in that one. You know, so he would always be remembered by people who have followed Nigerian football and followed the Super Eagles yes. for you know, a really, really long time as one of those very, very, very um, phenomenal players who uh, did you know, make his impact in football back then. Controversy over his death, yes, you know, there would always be that uh, seeing that you know there's still not been any uh, truth you know the the police you know I don't I don't remember them um, arresting anyone or charging anyone you know for his death and so there would always be that controversy about the, the you know the part where you said is an evil man not uh, where I said, where his family <laughs> insists. Because the truth is, people commit suicide every day, right? We yeah. talked about the Golden Gate Bridge just yesterday. yesterday and how it was the most used suicide site in the world, mm -hmm. how people were saying they were going to die mm -hmm. there, you know, and how there's so much hush-hush, uh, so to speak, regarding suicide in Nigeria. People don't believe that mental health problems are real. They want to believe that, you know, as an evil man, so to speak, was a Nigerian. We're, I mean, we're, we're named the most happiest people on, on, on the continent, on the planet. Some at some time, you know, so they want to believe that we're all happy, even if you're not well, you say it is well, it is fine. You put on a smiling face, even though you're hungry and starving. So when people kill themselves, or when people talk about depression, the lead that potentially leads to suicide, it seems like something lots of people can't really relate to. But these are really serious issues. But then we can't really say exactly what led to the suicide or murder. Oh, to Kalen, yes, because um, of course he's no he's no longer with us. Yes. So yes, this happened what year? This was in 2011. 2011. All right, January 6, 2011, and in 19. 96, the blizzard of 96 began. Um, rest in peace to the legendary Uche Kizito Okafo, uh, Nigerian footballer. Uh, that's all we have for you today in history. Um, yes, let's now talk business. I mean, when I say business, I don't mean economics, but serious business. Nigeria's buzzing about this, you know, ASU strike may or may not happen. We'll find out uh, as the days go by, but we have with us an, an educationist to talk about it right after this break. Just stay with us on The Breakfast.